Hello everyone, Supersonic Blue here, and welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign mission here on the channel. Now today we're going to be doing is another mission has appeared up in camp. It's like, so uh, anything yellow is like a main mission, anything white is a side mission. So this, with this being a yellow mission, that's why we're focusing on them. Um, obviously that's part of a main mission, but to be honest with you, I can see this as just being a like a messenger boy type thing delivering in to and from them. I mean it might be different next time but that's is how it's going to be looking like because she just gives a letter to give back to him and they'll be like oh give the letter back to him and that's how I can also see it being so at the moment we're just sticking to these ones that keep appearing in camp and they are quite fun and entertaining so a lot of shooters so let's see what Mr. Williamson has in store for us Oh, fine, what do you want, you drunken idiot? He's always pissed when he talks to you. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Are you serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. I hope it's we're going to, like, fast travel right. to the... Let's rather go. than... Oh, Mr. look at that. Morgan. Like a proper outlaw. That man, the debtor? Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can. Head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. <laughs> We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right, follow me. I really hope we, we, it's if we're going into Valentine. I, this is just this is how far away it is. It's the it's fucking miles away. So I really hope we it gets to a point where it usually does it to a scene. After like a talk, like they always do. Yeah. I don't want the bolt action rifle. I mean, it might be a good weapon, yeah, but I think I want. I'll try the bolt action rifle as a second. Once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Neither should work. 
Once he's got him distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the Volt Man, right, Arthur? Now oh, I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just what is that floating? I got the lead on this one. We'll see about is that. that bull's... What? Eh? That bull's floating. So, thinking this through. Drive Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. <laughs> now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's a genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. Mm. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course. In and out. Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. There it is, Valentine. I think. Oh, is this? Uh, no, it's the Admiral Ranch. It can't be. Miles away from there. Oh, God. Everything's fingers are killing me. Basically, on the right. My thumb on the right, on the left analog stick. Keep it down now. We're here. Where's this bank? I don't ever oh. recall knowing where this bank is. I mean, it's a sheriff's office, a doctor's office, and all that, and saloon. But I don't never knew there was a. Well, I should always assume there's a bag in. Okay. Bag Let's bank. Leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay. Get ready. Go to work. 
course. Wait, is this the bank? All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Just need to catch up. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Um. Not a lost girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real down. Would you care to? I, I was child, and it's, I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Oh, hell. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Go no on up. Nobody hey, shut up, Here, open it's, the door. It's shut up, Patillo. Oh, he's the, the restaurant where okay. he's the, the door's Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Open the goddamn vault. Open it. Get a move on. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay, okay. Just open the goddamn door. <laughs> Too goddamn <gasps> slow! <laughs> son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! <gasps> okay. There we go. Sure, the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I. Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Right, let's see if we can crack one. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. As I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. This is done. Let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. I'll keep a look at him. Just yet. So yeah, you just got you always start counterclockwise. 
only ever come across one safe. And I used dynamite to blow it up. So, um, that's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, oh, I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. There we go. Made it slightly too quick, but last one. Last one. Good. We gotta move. Remember to stop as soon as you do it. Picked up quite a bit there. I don't think that was necessary. I've now not got a weapon. The shot. I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. See you, Jack. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut, you understand me? Yeah, if you go to the hotel here in Valentine, it's Jack Patillo from Achievement Hunter. Jeff Rams is in it as well, but he's at one of the train stations. It varies where he's at. So much for being quiet. Dead or alive. I ain't swinging nowhere, I'm just getting fucking red. Holy shit, we've gone different ways. I got him from the back. There we go. Where the hell are they coming from? Wanted dead or alive. Let's go. Thank you, gentlemen. 
That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Right down ranch. Where's that? Why are we going to why are we going here? Downs. Oh, is I might is this it's uh and that's Mrs. Adler. I think it goes right at the beginning. Um, she wants to find a new place and we've just gone to that old run down farm in a couple of videos ago so I'm wondering if that's going to be the new hey look this is Horseshoe Overlook this is where uh, our second ever camp was obviously the first one was up in the mountains at Coulter On over. Oh, he's tired. We need to, uh, especially going up here, we just need to give him a, a minute. Just taking a shortcut, that's all. Alright, the ranch is just here, so. We're okay. Hold on, this is where the stables are. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Oh, right, it was the... I don't know what that was. It's for, for Strauss, weren't it? The debts are collecting. Back in Horseshoe, at least we're fast travelling, so to speak. So when you fast travel, this is what happens. You go for a cinematic scene of him go, go riding through different scenarios. Like scenarios you'd, you'd see on the way, but he's still obviously just fast travelling it. Two or three clips. So we should be back at camp now. Yep, here we are. Twenty grand. I got two and a half grand shit. Well spent, oh. I say. 
I was there. That someone shouts at me in camp, but I don't know who it is. Right, so that is where we're gonna leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye.